right, more jack-o'-lantern faces. So um, we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you um, some more options and how different these things can look. But the first one I did is kind of a, I would say happy face, but it's more like mischievous, naughty, smiley face. And the second one, you look scared. I think that worked really well. That's what kind of what I was going for. And then I just added a little bit of curls to the head. <laughs> just for extra fun and i just want to show you this one um a little bit of detail oh this is for something else um some details i'm working on i kind of got the idea as i was doing this one that it looked like uh, a devil face and i just want to go over some of the and i'm going to do instead of one stem two stems and make devil horns so i'll finish that up and show you but um what i think makes this different is the um i kind of made these angry eyebrows the eyes see how um the arch under the eyes ear makes it look happier and these eyes being really more open i probably can even make this more open makes it look more surprised and scared and this um these look a little more angry and then i think what really does this though is i made a furrow in the brow and hollowed out the cheekbones so you see like by poking underneath here um, and give it more of that kind of look. And then also I yeah, gave it a pointier chin and I, I'm gonna show you just so I can add, make it really pointy. If you want to uh, keep adding, this was a combination of two colors. So I'm gonna combine these a little bit. Oops, put a little more. I mean, that chin is probably pointy enough, but I just wanna show you just, you just keep building up. Um, the chin and what's cool about a lot of these features that I did for this guy and for any face is that remember I said we're doing the face on three sections if you're making like an eight sectioned pumpkin so this is all that center section that's getting the chin the nose these furrows and the brow and even these lines which are really just part of that center section look like um, like brow frowny lines okay so i can make this chin really pointy depending on how i felt it um it doesn't have to be pointy but i think the nice the pronounced chin and cheekbones make it look more devilish and then um so you would keep going with that and you could you don't have to do like i did like a yellow teeth and a blacked out tooth. So one of these horns is pretty much done. And I just wanna show you what I did with this. I mixed brown, black, and green. You could just make it one color. Um, this might be cool with like red mixed with the orange to make a devil pumpkin. But I just wanna show you. So this is pretty much the way we did the stem. So you might wanna review the stem video again, but I'm making short stems I mixed the colors and then separated into two uh, batches of the color that were about the same size to make these about the same size. And the thing I wanted to show you is that, see how I made this one curved? So I just wanna show you how you do the, the curve. We might maybe have covered something like this before, but you make the curve by just holding this in that curve and felting it while you hold that position. Okay, and then just be, since when you're working with smaller things, you want to be careful not to poke yourself, but you can turn this around and um, hold it in different positions, but still felt it into that curve by holding the curve as you go. And you want to get these pretty firm. The end you can um, roll in your fingers to get it extra pointy. Okay, so I got that one extra pointy. So and I could do that on this one too. This, this actually needs a little felting, but um, a little more. I always kind of shortcut these things and then I go back to them later while you're not watching. Um, so, and I had felted this for a little while before we even started the video. So, but I just wanted to show you attaching these. I can put them kind of on the side instead of putting one stem in the center. I think it'll be cool. I haven't done this yet, but I love this idea of a, uh, Devil pumpkin jack o' lantern. Just gonna put. It's gonna go back a little further into that. Uh, we have the th three front sections, and I'm gonna do to either side. 
I'm gonna poke these horns in and have them curved in. You can check out pictures of devil horns. Um, yeah. You wanna get, um, I think I said this when we attached the stems before, but you don't wanna just go underneath to attach the stem because it'll get really skinny at that attachment spot. So you wanna go straight down. And pay attention, see this just started curving in a different direction than it was. So hold it in the in the direction you want it while you're poking that in. But and uh, that probably needs a little more, but that, that looks good. And I don't know if this one's quite ready, but I'm gonna attach it now anyway, and I can always pull it out and fix it later. <laughs> um, oh, I'm gonna poke it as a little more. Right here, there's a lump that I wanna smooth out. Um, anyway, you can see how just little um, subtle things can make a big difference in the expression on the jack-o'-lantern's face. So um, you can play around with that. I'm going to put this other horn. I'm going to look from the top. I can see I kind of have that lined up in line with the end of that eyebrow. And I am going to tuck these extra, sometimes you want to spread that out. When we did the this stem, we wanted to spread it out and have that be, um, go into the grooves, but for this one, I just want them to be smooth seam at the bottom. I don't want this one to curve the same way. No, it's really not quite ready, but you get the idea. Um, and if they're too long, if you just keep poking it in more, it'll get a little shorter, and more attached. And then I, I can still, if these don't feel firm enough, I can still firm them up even once they're attached. I can do this. But you wanna, you're really gonna wanna use the foam at that point because otherwise you might hurt yourself or break a needle or something. But anyway, oh, that's, that's fun. Um, so there's my jack-o'-lanterns for this series that we've been doing. And um, I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with because I'm sure you'll, you'll have your own ideas and there's just, you know, lots of other expressions and lots of ways to tweak it and make it your own and have fun with it. So have fun with it and happy Halloween. <laughs>